I don't think there's any pitfalls in doing a public exhibition, for instance. A public exhibition, I think, is a generous thing to do because the people can go to it. They don't have to pay anything for it to be able to enjoy your work. They can go away having enjoyed the work, um, speaking to other people to go to the exhibition. And maybe it might even lead to sales because the uh, person who did enjoy the exhibition may want to continue the experience by buying a work. Uh, we do owe the, uh, the um, you know, the society that uh, sets up a system through which we can exhibit our work so that they do encourage the uh, art market, the development of uh, an art uh, system. Um, and there is no uh, reason not to participate in that. As a curator, there's, there's a number of ways that I will select artists. First of all, you know, I, I'm looking to fulfill our mandate. So the Art Gallery Regina, the mandate is to show regional artists, artists from Saskatchewan. That doesn't mean, you know, other our national artists are excluded or even international artists but our mandate is to show local so, so that's number one and then all the other criteria that we're looking at like like criteria that we're looking at in terms of that year like do, is there is there a spot that i need to fill and and i've just had a painting show and a sculpture show so maybe i need something else to fit in there so there there's all that to consider but Number one, it's got to be good contemporary art. So that is number one. And then all the other criteria. So you could be making really good contemporary art, but I might not have a slot for you um, in, you know, in the programming years ahead that I'm scheduling in. Uh, in, in order to have success out of the studio, uh, simplify. Uh, whatever message it is that you're making, uh, simplify a package down to uh, best work simply portrayed or, or basically surrounded with information, not too much information. Not a big fan of artist statements uh, because I think often they get in the way of the art. Um, good art will communicate very directly if it has a chance and a, and a simple presentation or promotion of yourself I think is actually the best and people will say yes or will say no. And the sooner you come to that realization or come to that understanding that that's, those are the, the options here, um, then you're not um, harming yourself in some ways by, by having, to, having a false notion of what happens once you take your work beyond the world. Uh, there's a number of ways. I, I, I don't mind artists phoning up or emailing me and saying, will you come to my studio? I mean, I'm, I have a very busy schedule. We have a very small staff at the AGR, so I can't always just get out right away. But um, certainly that's something that I'm open to doing. We also have an online uh, submission process, so you follow that. Um, and during, after the deadline dates, I go through, sometimes it takes me a little while, but I'll go through and look at every submission that's been entered to our online submissions. Um, you know, those are the, the two best ways. Recently, I had a, uh, a public gallery uh, engagement, a uh, small to mid-sized gallery in Saskatchewan, the Man Art Gallery in um, uh, Prince Albert with uh, Jesse Campbell. A uh, terrific uh, uh, instance of, you know, small staff, really engaged, enthusiastic about the work. You know, I, I crowded the house with recent work and most ambitious exhibition I've done in, in a number of years. And it's really found, from my understanding, a real um, a place of resonance in that community, in the larger community, and, and it will tour from there. Um, but that's the kind of thing, too, that you just... You, I get extremely excited about getting work out in public, meeting with the people who are, 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 are um, 
the audience and seeing what they have to say and how they engage with it and how my work might move other people, which is for me endlessly um, satisfying.